Hello everyone, Brian here from Directus. Today, I'm gonna to show you how the new Directus SEO plugin makes managing your SEO way less painful. Trust me, your future self will thank you for installing this one. So let's dive right in. The first stop is gonna be finding and installing the plugin. We'll go over to our Directus settings, jump into the marketplace, and we're gonna search for SEO. You'll find the SEO plugin, you know you've hit the right one when you found Sherlock Search Bunny here. We'll hit install, do a quick refresh once this installs. And now you're ready to add it to a collection. I'm just gonna hop into the data model for pages here and quickly show you what it's like to add this interface. So we'll just search for SEO interface. I'll give this a proper key. We can add a quick title template for this. So we'll just do the title of our page and hit save and I'll put this in the form. Now on to the good stuff. Once you have installed and configured the extension for a collection, you'll notice something pretty cool happening inside the layout views. We've added a traffic light system that instantly shows you how your SEO is doing. Green means you're crushing it. Yellow means there's some room for improvement and red, well, Let's fix those. Now, let me show you what these indicators actually mean. Hover over any warning and you'll see exactly what needs fixing. Maybe your title's too short or you're missing a entire meta description. Uh, you may also spot a hidden or invisible eye icon on some of the items within the layout view. That means they're set to no index and will be hidden from search engines. Now, the real magic happens when you open a page. You click into the SEO section or the SEO interface, and you'll see a visual indicator of the ideal length and description for uh, your metadata. You'll see buttons to generate titles and descriptions from a specific template. And you'll also see a search preview of what this item will actually look like in search results. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. This is just the basic setup. You can completely customize this within the data model, and you could do this on a per collection basis. So if we go into our posts collection, where we've got this configured, we'll just go into the SEO interface, and now we'll enable some additional fields. You can configure your templates, enable extra features like OG images, uh, search engine controls, sitemap controls. You can create custom SEO fields for things like JSON LD or other super advanced SEO metadata. So we'll just fill that out real quick and I'm gonna make this required. Now, my favorite part of this whole system is the scoring adapts to whatever additional fields and settings that you enable make that field required, and boom, it becomes part of the traffic light system that we saw earlier. So that's the SEO plugin in action, simple enough to use right away, but powerful enough to handle whatever custom technical SEO requirements you throw at it. And last but not least, send us your questions and feedback. We're always looking to make these tools work better for you. Thanks for watching.